Okay, so his eyes were like a flame of fire. Think about how much power was in him. So I'm, on, I'm an electrician. So in order for something to glow, you need a lot of electricity. So when you look at a heater, so how many of you saw, like, when you look at a heater, when you turn it on, after a while, it starts glowing red, right? Everybody's seen that, right? And so I relate to God's power as electricity, and so there was so much life and so much power, so much strength flowing through him that his eyes, like, like basically, our eyes are like looking into us, right? So when somebody looks at our eyes, some people refer to it as like you're looking into the person. So his eyes were glowing like fire. That's how much life is in there. So what does that mean for us? Our eyes are supposed to glow like fire. We're supposed to have so much power, so much life, so, so much of it that there is abundance of it to where it's just looking to come out of us in every direction. So think about this. So back to the heater example. So if you take these coils, this heater, and it's glowing like red hot, if you try to throw paper on it or try to throw something at it, what, what's going to happen? It will burn up instantly. Nothing will be able to come near it. So if we're lit up, if we're glowing with that life, with that strength of, of Jesus Christ, can anything ever come into the inside of us? Not possible. That virus or whatever this nonsense is, like even if it tries to, it will be zapped. It will be just like gone. So I have an electronic filter, and sometimes it's interesting to watch how it works. Like any kind of dust that goes through it, zzz, zzz, like it just gets zapped. That's our immune system. That's our, the life of Jesus Christ in us. Anything that tries to come into us immediately has to be zapped. That should be our expectation. We have to start seeing ourselves that way. You have to start visualizing and seeing yourself. And if you're constantly dwelling on that state of victory and what's going to happen to these viruses when they come near you, that's what's going to happen. But if you see yourself as a vacuum cleaner... What's going to happen? You're going to suck up. You're going to come up every disease that doesn't even want to get into you. It'll be hiding in the corner, running away from you. But you'll suck it right into you <laughs> by believing that. That's what we do with our thoughts, with our believing or unbelieving. We're either zapping things or we're sucking them into us. At times, I was able to see in the spiritual world, like all of these... Um, like, for example, some of these spirits, like the spirit of timidity, like spirit that's timid, and some of these, they are so weak. They are so scared. It would take so much effort to suck that into you. I mean, they're literally running from people. And yet people figure out how to suck them in and put them inside of them by believing certain things. And so think about this, that... Jesus' eyes. I want everybody to imagine this. Like this is when I study these scriptures, when I read this scripture, that's what I start. I start visualizing. Okay, glowing ice. What does that mean? That means he had a burning furnace inside of him. I mean, just glowing red fire was inside of him, and there was so much of it, you could see it through his eyes. It was coming out of his eyes. That's how much life, that's how much strength, that's how much power was in him, and what that means is that we have the same thing. That should be our expectation. I want every person here to start expecting a red-hot furnace fire inside of you. And it is so strong that nothing can come near it. Nothing has an opportunity to get into it. So I've been kind of analyzing and just like the example of, you know, like a burning furnace or fire or a vacuum cleaner, so we're constantly, either we're releasing or we're, we're intaking. And so when you have life and life abundant, what's supposed to be happening? It's supposed to be coming out. 
And so we're constantly supposed to see ourselves as ones who are releasing. Because we have this abundance. We have Jesus Christ and his fullness. It says, of his fullness we have received. So because we have this fullness and it's inside of us, it's, it just, it's goozing out. Whatever words you want to use, it's pouring out, jetting out. Like things are supposed to be coming out of us. This is how we're supposed to see ourselves. Like a shower head. Like when you're looking at a shower head, like it is, like if it's strong, if it's coming out really strong, um, it's, it's going to hurt you. Or like a, a jet on the water pressure, the jet setting. Like it can cut your fingers. So nothing of the enemy can come into you. And so I just want us to make a decision today that I have so much life. I have so much fire inside of me, so much of God's fire that nothing can come into me, only life and this fire and this life and peace and joy, everything of Jesus Christ, I'm only releasing. I'm not receiving anything of darkness. I'm only releasing light. And so we use many examples. So if you're light, so if I was this light right now walking around, what's coming out of me? What would be coming out of me? I'd be glowing. It would be light. Is there any darkness in that light? No. And as the light moves, so let's say if you take a light in the middle of the night, you turn it on, it's glowing, and if the light shifts, what happened to the darkness? It spreads, it moves automatically. Think about this, when light moves, it has, how much effort does the light have to put in to get the darkness to spread? None, no effort. And so God created us as light and as we're walking on this earth, like, so when I walk this way, if there is any darkness, it has to spread. If I walk this way, any darkness, it has to spread. Zero effort. Why? Because it's not your life. You just have to believe. That's how awesome it is that all we have to do is just believe what God said. We turn on the light by believing. And if you say, yep. I agree with you, God. I am light. I don't understand how it works. I don't understand all the mechanics. I don't understand voltage. I don't understand resistance. I don't understand any of that. I am light. I am life. I am fire. And as you're moving through, it, without any effort, it just glowing out of you. And when that happens, if you start seeing yourself and believing that, then guess what? Nothing can come near you. But if you don't believe that, then guess what? You'll be a vacuum cleaner. Things are just going to be coming to you that don't even want to come to you. But it's for us to decide what we're going to be. Someone that releases or someone that sucks things in. And so because God's life it's free, it's a gift, it's already in us, it's already done. It is constantly looking to come out. That's why we don't have to do anything with that. We just have to agree and believe what he says. If he says we are light, we are light. Start seeing yourself as light, and as you're walking, start seeing things moving away. Imagine those things. That's, that's how it really becomes real to you. Use your imagination. Use the word of God as in, imagine things like make it real for yourself, like relate it to something. What does that mean? Because that's why when I read these words, I try to make him real to me. And so that way throughout the day, that's what I'm seeing. I'll see myself as a light going around and all the darkness spreading. I'll see myself as fire. And whenever things come in, they get burned up. And I just start seeing these things, what God calls us we are. And the Bible says, we just read, that Jesus' eyes where fire, like glowing fire was coming out of it. Flames of fire. It's, it's even stronger. A flame is something that's coming out, right? So not only was you just the fire inside of it, but flame is something that's coming out. Flame is on the move. 